This is going to be a beginner's introduction to Ohm's Law. This is going to start out super simple, making it easy to pick up. I believe anyone can learn this. Not everyone's going to pick it up at the same speed, but with enough time and effort, anyone can pick this up. I've set up a really basic circuit here. This is our battery. It's a car battery, so technically it's going to have 12.6 volts, but to make the math as easy as possible, we're just going to call it 12 volts. We're going to be assuming 12 volts for the rest of this video. Voltage is basically electricity's ability to push through this circuit. This is a symbol for a resistor. It resists the push of the voltage coming through the circuit. This is the symbol for ohms. Resistance is measured in ohms. Amperage is the flow rate of electricity. No matter where you measure it, amperage is going to be the same throughout the entire circuit. That changes a little bit when we start working with parallel circuits, but we're going to ignore that for now and keep it as basic as possible for this example. This box is just here to tell us the amperage and it's not going to mess with the circuit in any way. I'm going to put the symbol for Ohm's Law down in the corner here so you can reference it at any time. There are three letters on it and it stands for voltage, ohms, or amperage. If you know what two of them are, you can do the math to find the third one. So let's run through an example. We have 12 volts pushing through our circuit. We get to a resistor. It is a two ohm resistor. Now if we have two ohms and 12 volts, we're gonna end up with six amps. Amps is our current flow. Two ohms is not a lot of resistance, so current can flow through here pretty freely. So again, if we have 12 volts of push through two ohms of resistance, you end up with six amps of current flow. How about we double the resistance and see what happens then? We're gonna stick with our 12 volt battery and with four ohms of resistance, it's resisting more, so current can't flow through here as freely. You end up with three amps. You may notice that we doubled our resistance, so the amperage was cut in half. How about we raise this resistor rating to something really high, like 24 ohms. So we have this 12 volt push through this 24 ohm resistor and it resists a lot. So we're not gonna have a whole lot of current left over. So doing the math, 12 divided into 24 parts is going to be one half. We've got 24 ohms of resistance holding back our 12 volts here. So only half an amp goes through this circuit. And one last one, what if we had a really low resistance here? 0.5 ohms. Well, 12 volts comes along and hardly anything is holding it back, so it's gonna flow right through there real fast. That'll be 24 amps of current flow to be precise. If you had a 20 amp fuse on your circuit right there, that would blow it out. How else could we use Ohm's Law? Well, if you knew your resistance and your amperage, you could figure out your voltage. So if you have four ohms and three amps, you can multiply these two to get your voltage. Four times three is 12. If you'd like to learn more about fuses, I'll provide a link to my video about them. If you enjoyed this lesson, there's a whole lot more videos like this on my channel, so consider subscribing. At any rate, I hope you know more now than when you first clicked on the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next Car Simplified video.